we got lost, we went down the wrong road, and now we're probably going down another wrong road, but this one's cool because it's like off the beaten trail. But we're at the Lanjo Mall and it's pretty big and we made it because of our friends. Excellent tour guides. Our excellent tour guides. So we just got up on this building, we went through the mall, we ate some food, and now we, uh, it's on top of the mall, it's really cool. It's a building, malls are buildings. I wish I could have gotten like the sunset, but there was, there was no sunset. Oh well. There's a lot of clouds here. Yeah, there are a lot of clouds. And also we had to leave, I guess. Just got done with the club in Lanjo. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. So it was it was Tai Haula. We started at what time? 11? 11 and it's like currently like 2 a.m. Mm. Um, we're gonna go find some food I guess and then uh, after that... The best news I've had all day. I know right? And then after that we're gonna go sleep. Yeah! Last night we went out to the club and it was a lot of fun. We got on the stage. Well, they brought us up and it was fun. And then we came to this um, building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like an Airbnb. It's actually. like an Airbnb, yeah. And spent the night, got some food in the morning. Mm -hmm. And all in all, I think the night cost a total of like $8. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It was amazing. But yeah, now we're gonna go back to the university. I think it's like an hour taxi drive. Yeah, we gotta go then. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Shit. So we're back at the mall again, and we're in this giant tube of fish. The, um, is it the Omaha Zoo? That's what this looks like. This is really cool. It's like all the way up and down the mall. Heading to the mountain. It's been a long day of tomfoolery, and now all the all the international or all the ch national students that are freshmen have to do this this thing where they all like are in the military. I guess. Ha! It sucks to be them. He okay. wants to say something douchey. I want to say yeah. something douchey. Say something. I feel douchey. like that military training can't be that hard because those guys don't look in super great shape. Yeah. All right. Like, like they're stick. <laughs> Like walking. Yeah, I think they're just walking. Yeah. Um, I think it's more of a cultural thing. Like, how many normal people can one Chad take? <laughs> but how many, in the how, many Chad, how many Chads do we have in America? That's the we question. We have quite a few actually. We have. A, I see them everywhere. We just so. go to the frat house. Yes. Brad's count is a uh, Chad times 1.72, so we can't forget Shoot. that. Shoot. So. I didn't realize Brad's were that powerful. Yeah. Look Brad's are. Brad's or Chad's. Both Brad's and Chad's. All right, we're gonna head to the mountain now. Take the bus. We got two buses to get to get there, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We just got off our bus. We had to do two buses. It was like probably an hour. Was it an hour? I kind of lost track. Of time. I don't know. It was a long time, but we're here at the mountain. Second bus was at least 20 minutes. It felt like an hour to me, but that was because I was exhausted. But now I've got my energy back after seeing this mountain. I'll probably pick up a, hot, a Red Bull. Oh, Chinese Red Bull. Chinese Red Bull are subpar, but <laughs> it's got caffeine in it, so we'll they have do. Full shaped cans, which is really. That's all you can ask for, really. So what's this uh, big statue all so, about? So this is that we they call like uh, Chinese people when they come here. Actually, they come and they touch and then they will say they believe because uh, if you touch here, that means you will never get any disease. That's okay. what they believe. <laughs> if anyone try, let's go see. So now I can drink all the tap water I want as I will not get sick. <laughs> I am viewed with the superpower. So it looks like we have to climb up all those stairs. You didn't come here to climb stairs, dude? <laughs> Ah, uh, I thought there was an elevator. Oh, you fool. We just ran into this guy who was offering to give us a ride for five kwai, which is, that's pretty affordable to go up this mountain. Under a dollar for each of us. But when we got to the van, he's like, 15 kwai each? That's two, dollars. two bucks each. Which is like, no, he went, he upped it to 15 kwai, and that'd be like, that'd be 300%. He gave us a 300% increase, and so we're like, we're walking. Um, we don't, then he points to the mountain, 
Mountain's huge, but still, we're not gonna get ripped off. I think he was, he was like telling us it would take us three hours. I think he was hitting us. He already hit us once. I don't trust him. I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, even if it does take us three hours, I don't care. Now we're walking up the mountain. Okay, so we're now up probably 30 steps. <laughs> And we're taking our first break and it's insanely beautiful as you can see but we're all pretty lay we're hun light we're so tired we got lost we went down the wrong road and now we're probably going down another wrong road but this one's cool because it's like off the beaten trail and it's dirt so we're, yeah we're going up this dirt rail road and it's super super duper tiring we're like almost all the way up the mountain and we keep running i keep getting exhausted but we're almost there ah! i lost my friend and oh he's right here he got so far much so much farther ahead of me but we got quite a bit of ways to go we're super close though <sighs> we're super close update we are currently almost to the top we've climbed probably a million gajillion stairs and we found this cute little uh cute little ping pong table so we're gonna probably stop and play some ping pong all right so we finally made it to the top and if you turn around look at that view that's insane that is literally so crazy how big the town is. It's like a, it's like so big. It just goes on forever. Yeah. We made it to the top. We got that video. Without without a car. Without a car. Without a car. Um, somehow, we all are pretty exhausted, I would say. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, and now our driver's like rushing us. We're gonna make it to the bottom. <laughs> Our driver was supposed to drop us off at the he door. Lied. He lied. We paid. He said it's ten quai. We paid him ten quai so that he could drop us off at the door. They let does this us look walk. like? The, does this look like the door, driver? Hey. No. He let us walk. Okay, so it's what time in the morning? About like nine-ish. Nine it's nine-ish in the morning and we're up. We've got our pictures taken for the medical checkup that we have to do, even though we already did one in the States. Um, but we're gonna do a second one. Abdul is trying to find the address right now. He's our <laughs> Lord and savior of this trip <laughs> so far. Um, but yeah, that's the goal of today is get our medical checkups done. And then I guess find something else to do. Probably rest a little bit before we go out. Maybe that rest. That's an a little. insane hike. Are we going out tonight? I thought we were. I was Sweet. told we were. Okay. So we'll maybe go out tonight. Maybe to space. That sounds weird. We're gonna go to a club, <laughs> a, specifically a club called Space, not to outer space. Okay, 
Yo tú me das calor, listo para vivir.